Hello, welcome to new unboxing. Uh, today uh, will be a, a flying controlling board. Uh, this is the mini version of the CC3D or a so-called Atom version. Okay, so uh, well, of course, uh, is not a real uh, Guinean one, but uh, clone one, and uh, it's damn light and uh, cheap. You can have it for less than 15 bucks. So what also what you will find is this bag. You will find. Uh, the board itself, okay, um, boxed into a casing, a plastic casing, okay. Uh, I've got the um, non-straight pin version, okay. Uh, what also you will find, you will find um, the um, frame contouring board mount with a shock absorber and dampening uh, balls like this, okay. Um, in, a, in order to install to your quad capture, uh, you will find uh, the uh, two cable. One is for the uh, main port, okay. So with two type of connector, uh, all the connector are one dot twenty five millimeters. Uh, this one is uh, four pints. Uh, this one is, is the main port is uh, close to blah 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 not wrong uh, eight so you have to connect this one on the here okay on the just above the uh, micro usb okay and this one you will use it to connect your uh, receiver uh, and uh, uh, this one you have two uh, different ports which can which are configurable uh, okay for example you can use it at uh, S port or I don't know uh, teleport port okay so uh, what also you will find you will find this uh, antenna mount so uh, you have two uh, sticks so it can be used for uh, with one antenna or diversity uh, receiver so you have the um, double side uh, tape to uh, install on your quad capter and this uh, plastic casing to welcome the two a tube uh, with the screws and uh, well the uh, caps to install on the extremity of your uh, tube. Okay, and finally, uh, you this is uh, the uh, double side tape to uh, install your uh, flying contrary board on your quad capter or on your uh, mount. So uh, the last element is an instruction manual, a very basic. Uh, only, uh, for example, indicating well, it's not the right photos associated with. This is more. This model is more for um, uh, the normal CC3D version will be able, but I guess you have to uh, interpolate. So you you have a satellite port, for example, to welcome uh, Lemon Rx, uh, for example, as depicted in the photos, or uh, well, you can. This one is. Uh, can install another type of receiver on the main port. Everything is configurable uh, on the software. And here uh, it's how to mount the uh, the antenna. Okay, so everything is more or less clear. Um, uh, one word about the uh, uh, weight of everything. So with the casing, it's uh, pretty light. Okay. It's uh, a little bit less than seven grams, okay. And if I remove the um, three uh, through of the casing, uh, the flying contouring board standalone should be uh, uh, close to four grams, if my expectation. All right. Okay. This is casing. Well, you can find the uh, uh, the connection there, the main processor unit here, and I guess there is a inertial central in this side. Uh, it's pretty light. Uh, well, if your objective is to gain some weight. Maybe uh, inversion without uh, the uh, 
pine solder it will be even more uh, better it means that you can directly solder your uh, SC wires directly on this board but it's pretty light like this let's check okay 4 gram 1 okay so uh, in order to use it uh, okay. uh, you have to install on your uh, uh, computers the last version of uh, OpenCGS actually at the time I'm doing these videos the version is uh, the 15 15.02 I guess so you have to uh, install the um, micro lossy connector okay and to plug to your USB cable so you start to power on and if you uh, run the software 1502 version actually I think you can see it on the um, as you can see okay say that uh, I can understand maybe another release of the versions okay and actually uh, I've got a, ver a firmware version from um, the November 27 okay and they said I can install maybe another one but it's already seen no problem as you can see on the software so uh, actually the uh, BL version is a 4 okay and the revision, the revision of the material is a second one so uh, it's working and um, what I like in the CGS software is very easy to set up um, a brushless uh, quadcopter or hexacopter you have uh, six pines so you can build an hexacopter with such card with such frame contouring board sorry so uh, well it's uh, to conclude uh, this uh, small unboxing it's a uh, frame contouring board uh, is uh, a clone of course of the real one but it's pretty cheap uh, pretty light for grams without any casing uh, and then very useful to install uh, into uh, any frame uh, uh, shorter than 200 millimeters, uh, for example, for 180s or 150s, can be very useful uh, in order to, uh, to save some weight and some space. So, uh, I will test soon, I hope to test soon this board with the 200 millimeters, uh, the Q200 uh, uh, from uh, frame from Banggood, I guess, I'm not sure. So, well, so I'm planning to test it very soon. So uh, thank you for watching. If you like it, please subscribe. Bye-bye.